So you get an in-person audition appointment. Yay! But then the morning of the appointment, that excitement turns to fear. And then it all goes downhill from there. Listen, if you are tired of your nerves holding your auditions hostage, you're going to want to take notes. By the end of this video, I'll share my top five tips to help you stop getting so nervous before and during your auditions. For the best acting advice and audition tips and tricks, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on so that you can get notified when I upload a new Actors Daily Red video every Tuesday. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors. Over the past few years, I've helped hundreds of actors learn how to crush their auditions, book more work, and live a life that they love. And now it's your turn. So let's get into it. All right, tip number one is to turn your nerves into excitement. And here's what I mean. Listen, the fact that you have butterflies, you got the level guys, you feeling excited, you sweating, that just means you care about the thing you're about to do. It means you're alive, which is a good sign. Literally, you have to retrain your mind and tell a new story. So instead of saying, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, change that into, I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm so excited, I got this audition today. I'm so excited, I got this audition. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do a great job. I'm so excited. Listen, I know it sounds cheesy. It may feel cheesy. Just try it. I promise you by switching the story in your mind and reprogramming your mind to what it is that you really want, it will change your whole game. Right before when they call your name, they say, Christine Horn, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. When you're excited, you want to do a good job. You want to show up. You are not thinking the negative. So try it. Say it with me right now. I'm so excited. Yes. Tip number two is to show up prepared. And here's why. Preparation breeds confidence. See, when you take the time to really study, when you take the time, you know your script backwards and forwards, you know who your character is, you're feeling confident about your dress, your hair, how you showed up, you got there early, not late. All of that preparation starts to relieve you. The problem is sometimes there's some self-sabotage going on, right? You're scared of success. You're so scared of failure that you don't do it. You wait to the last minute to prepare. You don't know what you're doing. Right? So when you fully prepare and you can know that in your heart, only you can tell us that, only you know that for sure, you will walk in the room just feeling different. There'll be a different air about you because you are prepared. Remember, preparation breeds confidence. So think about what you can do in your own process to help you feel more prepared. Is it a certain amount of time of studying? Is it laying out your clothes the night before? Is it listening to certain music? What do you need to do to feel really centered and ready to go? I promise you, you mix that with that excitement, nothing can stop you. All right, tip number three is to focus on the best case scenario. So here's what I mean. Listen, you are already rehearsing. You're just rehearsing the worst case scenario. You're like, oh, I hope I don't forget my lines. Oh, I hope I don't mess up. Oh, I don't hope I, I don't trip over myself. Oh, I hope the casting director likes me. What if they don't like me? What if I screw up? What if I'm blackball? What if they never call me again? What if I never get called into that show? Breathe, oh my gosh. Practice the best case scenario. If you're gonna practice something, Practice what it is you want to happen. I go really deep into this in my Get Booked playbook. If you don't have it, it's totally free. Click the link in the description. In part three of the playbook, it's a video series, which you will love, by the way, I go deeper into my VAC technique, visual auditory kinesthetic. I talk about it in my book, Playing Small. If you don't have it, link is below. Get it, get your life right? But there's a, this technique is what I use before all my auditions. It really helps me to get centered, really see the end goal, but it helps me utilize visual things, auditory things, and kinesthetic mean what I feel, right? And bring that all together to create an audition and a moment that I just feel good about, I feel confident about. Why? Because I've already seen the best possible way this can end. And don't worry about the how or thinking too big or too broad. Uh-uh, we don't have time for that. Use this technique, I'm telling you, it will help change your auditions and it will help your confidence, it will help that excitement, and it will help you book the job. 
All right, I need to hear from you right now. Put a comment below and let me know what part of the audition process makes you most nervous. Is it when you drive up to the building? Is it when they call your name and you walk into the room? Is it just while the camera, while, as soon as they hit the record button? Let me know. Listen, I've been there. So let me know. Maybe I can give you some more tips on how to get over that. All right, let's get into tip number four. That is expect fear to come along for the ride like what? Expect fear to come along for the ride. Listen, there's a misconception that one day you will be fearless. People say, Christine, you're so fearless. You do so many things. You go to all those auditions and you kill it. You're a booking magnet. No, I'm not fearless. I just learned how to play scared. My clients out there know what I'm talking about. Expecting fear to come along won't throw you off so much when it shows up. So you'll be fine a couple of days before, but it's that moment when you're about to walk in the room, it's like, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. it's like the show, like the, like the uh, Jaws music, dun -dun, dun -dun. like maybe that's when fear starts to come up. The inner critic starts to come up and tell you that you're not good enough, that you're gonna mess up, that you're, oh my God, they're not gonna like you. And that takes you off guard. I know fear is gonna show up. I know as soon as I'm getting ready to walk in that room, okay, let's get ready for it. I, I know you coming. Now I can tell you to have several seats because I'm gonna play scared because what's on the other side of this opportunity is so much greater than this little bitty fear voice that's trying to sneak up. So when I expect it, I'm not thrown by it. I don't want you to be either. So don't forget what I said. Expect fear to come along for the ride and do what? Say do what? Play scared. You got it. All right, my fifth and final tip, and I got to say, this probably is one of the best ones. Breathe, literally. When you get in that room, when they call your name, breathe. As you walk into the room, say hello, right? Breathe. Do not feel rushed. You go to stand in your mark, you get ready to do it. They say, whenever you're ready, great, breathe. You drove there, you took the train there, You. this is your time, this is gonna be your five minutes. Do not rush it, breathe. That breath seriously will help to reset you and that's what you want, to feel reset, to be calm and to be ready and to be focused. Do not underestimate the power of the breath. In that breath, I want you to breathe in, I am the one. Exhale, I am the one. They call your name, uh, Mark Jenkins, I am the one. The one, the one, the one that they want, the one that they need to see, the one with the gift, the one with the talent, the one that fits this role. And honey, if not this role, then it's the next role. But what you're gonna do is book the room. Oh, they're gonna know Mark Jenkins before he leaves. They're gonna know Christine Horn before she leaves. And they should know your name before you leave. It should be embedded in their brain. But it cannot happen if you do not breathe. I am the one. And then you start, let me tell you, game changer. That plus the four tips I gave you, get it. <laughs> All right, I don't know what else to tell you. Those are my top five tips to getting over nerves before and during the audition. And listen, I'm not even gonna pretend that I ain't never been nervous. I just learned along the way over these 20 something years that there just had to be a better way to channel that energy. And I still get excited before auditions. I still get excited before big performances. Hell, I get excited before I go on Instagram Live. But I learn how to feel the fear and do it anyway. And I also understand that my purpose has to be bigger than my fear. You, dear actor, have a story to tell. And don't let nobody or no thing stop you from telling your story, okay? Now, I hope you found this helpful. And listen, if you want to surround yourself with like minds and supportive actors from around the world, come on and join us in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. I would love to welcome you there, okay? Listen, before you go, don't you, don't you leave. It's time to spread love. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and look, share this video with a friend who could use some inspiration. Whew, that's all for now. Don't forget to grab that playbook in the description below. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey you, are you an actor? Not booking. Well, guess what? The problem isn't you. It's not that you're not talented, hardworking, or deserving. It's that you haven't found the missing link that can change your career forever. Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet. It's my new book. You can order it now at whyplaysmall.com.